these two grassy hillocks rising about 20 feet tall on the campus of Louisiana State University may seem unassuming to the casual observer today. Students rush past them on their way to class, some unaware that beneath their feet lies a testament to human activity that predates the pyramids of Egypt, the stone circles of Stonehenge, and even the great cities of Mesopotamia. These mounds are known simply as Mound A and Mound B. In a study published by a team from LSU and Yale University, researchers looked beyond the layers of these ancient mounds and revealed evidence of human activity that stretches back to the end of the last ice age. This makes them the oldest known man-made structures, not only in North America, but in the entire Western Hemisphere. Long before European explorers set foot on these shores, ancient people across North and South America were shaping the earth in profound ways. The Americas are dotted with earthen mounds, over 800 in Louisiana alone, built by ancient cultures for ceremonies, burials, residences, and territorial markers. These weren't haphazard piles of dirt, but rather engineered feats, often aligned with celestial bodies or natural features. The breakthrough discovery came from research that involved collecting sediment cores from both mounds, long tubes drilled into the earth to extract layered samples. These cores revealed a treasure trove of information. Distinct layers of ash from burned reed and cane plants interspersed with thousands of charred microscopic bone fragments known as osteons, the structural units of large mammal bones. What mammals were burned? And did these cremations also include humans? While DNA analysis has been limited due to consultations with modern Native American tribes like the Kitamacha and Kushada, who hold these sites sacred, the osteons indicate large mammals, possibly deer, bison, or even extinct species like mastodons. No human burials have been found. Radiocarbon dating of these layers pinpointed the start of Mound B's construction to around 11,300 years ago. In comparison, the Great Pyramid of Giza is about 4,500 years old, Stonehenge around 5,000 years old, and even the oldest known Mayan structures date to about 3,000 years ago. To put that into perspective, 11,000 years ago, the world was a very different place. The Ice Age was drawing to a close, and massive glaciers that once covered much of North America were retreating. Early humans in the Americas, often referred to as Paleo-Indians, were thought to be primarily nomadic, following herds of megafauna across vast plains. Yet here in Louisiana, a community was doing something unprecedented. They were building. The very act of constructing something this permanent challenges the older assumption that early hunter-gatherers were purely nomadic. It suggests they also had spiritual, social, or communal reasons for returning to the same spot across generations. The team discovered that the mounds were not built in a single effort, but were constructed layer by layer over thousands of years. The southern mound, dubbed Mound B, was the first to rise from the earth. Sediment cores reveal that the dirt used to create Mound B was likely sourced from a large depression behind what is now LSU's Hill Memorial Library. Layer upon layer, they built Mound B to about half its current height over several millennia. Around 8,200 years ago, the story of the LSU campus mounds takes a dramatic turn. Sediment layers from this period show that Mound B was suddenly abandoned. Tree roots found in the soil indicate that for about 1,000 years, no one added to the mound. Why would a community that had invested millennia in the sacred site walk away? The answer may lie in a global event that reshaped life across the Northern Hemisphere. Approximately 8,200 years ago, a massive climate event known as the 8.2 kilo year event struck the planet. This abrupt cooling period was likely triggered by the sudden drainage of glacial Lake Agassiz in North America, an enormous lake formed by melting ice sheets. When its waters rushed into the North Atlantic, ocean currents were disrupted, causing temperatures to plummet by an average of three to five degrees Fahrenheit worldwide. For 160 years, the world became colder and harsher. In Louisiana, the lush floodplains may have dried up, game animals may have migrated or dwindled, and the delicate balance of life for these early mound builders was disrupted. The team explained that, although the exact reason for abandonment is unknown, the environmental evidence suggests their lives were dramatically altered. There was likely confusion and fear as winters grew longer and food became scarce. Perhaps the people believed the gods had turned away from them, or perhaps they were forced to follow new migration routes to survive. For a millennium, Mound B stood silent. Around 7,500 years ago, as the climate stabilized, the descendants of these ancient people returned, or perhaps a new group arrived drawn to the sacred site. They began constructing a second mound, Mound A, just north of the original. This time, they sourced their mud from the floodplain near what is now the entrance to LSU's Tiger Stadium then an estuary teeming with life. Unlike Mound B, Mound A's soil is saturated with water, making it prone to liquefaction, a 
a process where soil temporarily loses its strength and behaves almost like liquid when disturbed. This fragility is why, even today, visitors are urged to stay off the mounds to preserve them for future generations. As the builders worked, they also resumed construction on Mound B, clearing away vegetation and adding new layers until both mounds reached their current height of about 20 feet around 6,000 years ago. But this was no haphazard construction. The crests of both mounds are aligned along an azimuth of 8.5 degrees east of true north. For clarity, azimuth refers to the precise angle between a reference direction, in this case true north, and the object being observed. Such alignment was not accidental, it hints at a deeper purpose. LSU astronomer Jeffrey Clayton, a co-author of the study, uncovered a celestial connection that adds a layer of awe to this discovery. Around 6,000 years ago, the red giant star Arcturus, one of the brightest stars visible from Earth, rose in the night sky at precisely 8.5 degrees east of north. This alignment suggests that the mound builders intentionally oriented their structures to face Arcturus, perhaps as a guide, a deity, or a symbol of cosmic order. Arcturus, known as the Bear Guardian in some ancient cultures, has long been a beacon for navigators and storytellers. Its prominence in the night sky would have been a powerful symbol for these people. The mound's builders remained shrouded in mystery. They were likely archaic period hunter-gatherers, part of mobile bands that seasonally converged on resource-rich areas like the Mississippi Delta. Louisiana's mound-building tradition spans from these early archaic peoples to later cultures like the Plaquemine, 1200 to 1700 AD, who constructed platform mounds for chiefs' homes. And what drove these people to undertake such a monumental task? Were the mounds ceremonial platforms, markers of territory, or symbols of unity for a scattered people? The presence of charred bones and ash suggests rituals, perhaps tied to death, renewal, or celestial events. Some archaeologists speculate that early mounds served as gathering places for dispersed communities, where people came together to trade, share stories, and honor their dead. The LSU mounds, with their ancient origins and starry alignment, definitely served a purpose for the people who inhabited these lands thousands of years ago. Ongoing research at LSU and beyond continues to probe these mysteries. Future studies plan to analyze the charred bone fragments to identify the species of mammals burned in the mounds, revealing the rituals and environment of the time. If possible, ancient DNA may also reveal whether there are any human remains involved, aside from confirming the specific species of animals included. Geochemical analysis of the ash could reveal more about the plants used in the fires. And as technology advances, new methods, such as ground-penetrating radar, isotopic analysis, and improved DNA extraction and sequencing, may uncover hidden features beneath the mounds, such as burials, artifacts, or additional structures. Thank you for watching. If you found this video fascinating, consider giving a like, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think these ancient mounds were really used for, and who built them? See you in the next one.